Canva is great for everything, creating all kinds of amazing graphic creative products. I've used Canva to the ends of the earth. Not only do I have my websites created and hosted on Canva, I use it for thumbnails. I use it for my book templates that we actually publish on Amazon for people to buy real books. I've made logos. I've made presentations. I've made flyers. I've made birthday cards. I've made, you name it, documents. I even used the PDF filler, which I'll be making a video for too. So tons and tons and tons of things you can do on this website. But today I'm going to focus on logos. Yes, logos. And if you are trying to start a social media account or a business and you're a little bit lost, Canva has a lot of great logos that and logo ideas that you can kind of use to get things going. They also have it in different categories like clothing, gaming, photography, right? Animated. Absolutely love that. Suggested templates. They have 98,406. <laughs> That's amazing. And if you've ever looked at someone's social media or you've ever looked at a business and you wonder how do they do that? Well, Canva. I will say that I do have the Canva Pro, so when you do see this little crown, that does mean that it does come free with the Canva Pro. So I do pay a year, I pay the yearly for Canva. I just find that it's the best deal. I feel like I get a better deal and I use it for business, so it definitely is a great investment in my business and we do write it off on our taxes because it is a business, business expense. We use it for our books, we use it for a lot of our graphics. And I will say it's worth every penny. Even if I wasn't doing that, it would be worth it. Um, so yeah, you can see here a couple of free ones. Like this one doesn't have a crown. This one doesn't have a crown. But as you go along, if you do see specific images or graphics that you like, just keep in mind you can use Canva credits. So if you sign up and... I do have a link below. I, Canva credits don't work necessarily that well for me because I pay. But if you don't want to pay and you want to refer your Canva account out and get a referral, they have a referral program and you can collect Canva credits where you can get images and text, um, different things that are Canva Pro and get credits to use them instead of paying piece by piece. You also can pay for things one by one. So I'm going to click on a free one but just keep in mind, when you come across a really cool graphic or something that you like in the elements or in the text, you can definitely, or even in your design templates, you can go ahead and pay piecemeal for those. So let's go ahead and maybe put in like lipstick. Keep in mind whenever you use elements, I'll make an entire video on this, when you use elements you have graphics, photos, videos, shapes, and the difference between those is quite obvious, but I'll go, in that. I'll go into that in another video. See, when you see that crown, if you really liked this lipstick, this lipstick, this one, this one, if you really liked it, you can go ahead and pay for that. So this one is free, which I think is really nice. Let's go ahead and highlight this and move it. I just, dra I just drag my mouse like this, and I can move the entire group. I love that about Canva. I can just group things. If I want to use this one, this one is, as you can see, a Canva Pro. It will tell you how much it costs if you want to print it or if you want to share it. Um, I'm on my Canva Pro account, so it's not going to tell me specifically. But if I go on my free account, I can definitely check that out by going and, and you know, when I go to share it, print it, download it, it will just charge me for this one image. And you can decide accordingly if you want to pay by image and image or if you just want to sign up for Canva Pro or refer and get Canva credits. There's that. Okay, great. I also like, I like this, the half circle on this one. There's a couple of things you can do. You can go to elements and you can type in circle. You can do that. If you don't find something you like, like you could add this one. But if you see something from another template, which I see, there's something on another template that I like, and I want to show you what I do. This is just my little pro tip. Again, I'm not a Canva pro necessarily. 
I just like to play around with it a lot and I use it a lot for work. I went ahead and I added a page. So go ahead and add a page. You can add a clean, clean page here. You can delete it or you can duplicate the page. Okay. So I went ahead and do, I want, I'm going to duplicate because I want to have kind of two different, I want to compare and contrast. So I'm going to duplicate and I'm going to get rid of this circle. I'm going to go back to design because I like this one here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a clean page and add that on there. And then I want to take this and I'm going to copy this half circle and put it on here. Ah, see that? And then I'm going to put it there. So I can actually go ahead, compare and contrast these two. And I'm already loving this one a lot better. Love that. So yeah, when you're creating logos, you can go ahead and look at a template that might be pro and there might be elements in there that aren't pro. For example, this one. This is not pro. This Montserrat text. This Amsterdam 3, let's see. Nope, not pro. So you can go ahead and take different things from the pro and see if it would actually work for your free version if there's something in that that you like. Tons and tons of ideas to start with. I love that with the templates. I love that Canva gives you such a great starting point. Again, this is font, this is font, this is an image, line, line, image, and you can just play around. Beautiful. So many great starting points, I have to say. I love Canva for that. And Canva allows, especially with the Pro, it allows you to use things that you pay for in your subscription so long as you modify it to look like a, an original version of that template. So each, I changed the text, I changed the subtitle, and now this is original. Now, when you want to print, you can go ahead and print and you can put it into shipping envelopes and canvas, you know, portraits and things. You can do that. Or you can go ahead and share it. When you want to share it, you can share the link to someone. Maybe if you want someone to check it out, you can do anyone with link. Can edit, can comment, or can view. Copy. Once you copy, you can send that link or you can download it. So you go ahead and hit download. You can download it to a JPEG, PNG, PDF, PDF for print, MP4, and more. Let's hit PNG. I just want, I actually want this one, which is the page one. I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna download page one. And when I download it, you're save see it's telling me I'm saving a dollar using Canva Pro, which is cool. And if you weren't a Canva Pro member, it would actually charge you that dollar. I like every time that I use an image, it tells me, hey, you're saving money by paying. I've saved tons of money using Canva Pro. <laughs> I went ahead and I, yeah, there it is. Downloaded it and this is my logo, which is really cool. I can put it on my social media. I can go ahead and I can put it on my website. I can do anything I want with this image now. So I can save this to my files and now I have my logo. And that's pretty much how you make a logo. It's really simple. And I have to say Canva just makes it so super easy and they have so many great starting points. If you're making a logo, if you're thinking about making a logo, have fun, be creative and have a good time with it. And that's pretty much what I do when I'm creating on Canva. I just get in there and I feel like I'm in a whole other world. If you like videos like this, definitely give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and we'll see you in the next one.